Number 9, a 3.5 kilogram block is pushed along a horizontal floor by a force F of magnitude 15 newtons at an angle of 40 degrees with the horizontal. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the floor is 0.25. Calculate the magnitudes of letter A, the frictional force on the block from the floor, and letter B, the block's acceleration. Okay, so since the block is already moving, we can calculate the frictional force pretty easy. So the frictional force for a moving uh, body is simply the kinetic coefficient, mu k, times the normal force. Okay, so this is the equation that we are going to use to calculate the frictional uh, force that, that's applied to the block. So you can see that we already have the coefficient over here, but we don't have the normal force. So we have to calculate the normal force and then we can find the frictional force uh, on the block from the floor. Okay, so how can we calculate the normal force? First, let's let us draw the free body diagram. So let's use this, this figure over here. So we know that we have the friction opposite to the, the movement of the block. We also have the gravitational force and we have the normal force over here. And we have to decompose this force over here because it makes an angle with the horizontal so we know that we will have an x component over here and let's call it fx and fx is equal to f the magnitude of this value over here times the cosine of the angle and we also have let's choose a color let's see let's go blue again and we have what y component so let's call it fy and it's equal to f times the sine of the angle so this is the free body diagram of the block and let's apply newton's second law so we can find the value of the normal force so let's remember that newton's second law says that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration so let's apply it to the y direction. Let's suppose that the y is positive upwards. So in the y direction, we have Fn, the normal force, minus the gravitational force, minus Fy, so F sine of theta, and this is equal to mass time the, times the acceleration in the y direction. However, since the block is not entering the, the, the floor and is not flying, we know that the acceleration in the y direction is zero, right? So we can isolate the normal force and it will be equal to the gravitational force plus the y component of the force F plus sine of theta. So this will be equal to 15 because this is the, uh, sorry, this, the, this force over here is equal to 3.5 times the gravity, mass times gravity, right? So gravity is 9.8 plus F, which is equal to 15 times the sine of 40 degrees and this is equal to 44 newtons. So this is the value of the normal force. And if we have the normal force, it's pretty easy to calculate the frictional force. So the friction will be equal. The value of the kinetic coefficient is equal to 0 0.25. So we just have to multiply 0 0.25 by 44 and this will give us 11 newtons. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want to calculate the acceleration of the block. So we are going to apply Newton's second law to the x direction. So let's suppose that the x increases to the right. So in the x direction we have 
the x component of the, 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 the force f. So we have f cosine of theta minus the friction. And this is equal to mass times acceleration in the x direction. So we want the acceleration, so let's just isolate it. So this would be equal to f cosine of theta minus the friction force divided by m. So this is equal to 15 times the cosine of 40 degrees minus 11 that we just calculated over there divided by 3.5 and this gives us 0 0.14 meters per square second so that's the answer of letter b so this is the answer of letter a and this is the answer of letter b